Welcome to the fourth episode of Bambi Builds. Today we are building a fully functional butcher shop that produces raw beef and leather. Let's play Minecraft 1.20. Okay, so last week we built this automatic crop farm and now it's time to continue upgrading the rest of this village. So, first things first, let's take care of this cow situation. Don't worry, all that leather was put to good use. We always need lots of item frames and books, and the food is a nice bonus. I still don't have an enchanting table, and I have already run out of storage space, so I'll just do a quick house extension. Okay, updated home tour. These chests were full, but they're now totally empty. This entry foyer has had some decorations added. This chest is where I will dump things if I'm in a hurry. And the missing corners on that treasure map will bug me forever if I don't fix that. Down here, we still need an enchanting table, but our storage areas are looking good. Still haven't found Amethyst. There's more storage down here. That leads to bedrock. And here is the main storage room. Isn't she beautiful? I just love it down here. I think my favorite part is the crafting tables in the floor. I feel like that will be so convenient. Now, I need to do a bit of exploring to gather materials for this butcher shop. I am remembering to bring a bed with me and I'm bringing this treasure map too because I cannot live with those corners. My travels took me to a mine shaft they took me back to my first ever buried treasure. I slept under the stars. I discovered a new village. Actually, I discovered many new villages and I only took the most important things. I climbed mountains to stock up on iron. I descended to some deep lush caves. Totally did not fall off the cliff by accident. I found a spider spawner and I was chased away by zombies. I found a ruined portal and mined some obsidian. I finally crafted that enchanting table and I did not have much luck with it. I collected some cod to trade with my fisherman villager. We'll give you a home soon, buddy. I traveled to the snowy mountains to find the very annoying but apparently very useful powdered snow. I found a swamp. I found some mangroves. I found an acacia village and my first compass. But the most exciting find of the day would have to be this spawner. So I built my first ever XP farm and I must say it went very well. So good. And the most exciting part is the location. This hallway was built by accident and now it has a purpose. And it looks great too. Now here is where we are building the butcher shop. There is a grassy area behind it so we can have some cows out the back there. 
I think it'd be nice to have some wheat growing nearby since the cows eat wheat. Now I'm just double checking. I have all the ingredients I need for this butcher shop recipe and I've realized I need an observer which requires nether quartz. I was planning on avoiding this forever, but the time has come. This is good, right? I haven't explored the nether much since it became terrifying, but I feel like this is a pretty safe spot. Oh, you know, except for the lava falling from the ceiling. Uh, can we just dig down? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Yes, that was easy. Oh my goodness, what was that? Let's get out of here. We're done, we're done, let's go. Whew. Okay, that was not terrifying at all. Let's just close this up. Okay, now we are ready. Actually, no we're not. We need some raw meat for the display. We need some wheat to feed the cows. And now we are ready. So here I am clearing out the old structure and today's build was designed by Ajax Minecraft. I will link the video below. It is an absolutely beautiful tutorial. And I don't think I could come up with anything nicer or more compact. So I'm using the exact same design. Actually, it's a mirror image. And I'm using different blocks. Ajax Minecraft makes aesthetic, functional farms like this. So make sure you go check out their channel. The video has great instructions and it is super easy to follow along. I mean, I still manage to stuff it up, but people who can follow simple instructions will be fine. So now I'm luring the cattle into the holes. We have two cows in each hole, so now we need to breed them until we have 24 cows in each hole. And while waiting for the cows to breed, I went ahead and finished the main structure. I also added some wheat fields to the roof. Kind of like having everything all together in the one build. I think that's really cool. Now, here is where things go wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's not meant to happen. I think I forgot to press the button upstairs first. So now I have to lure all the cows back into their hole. <laughs> Honestly, what a nightmare. Ooh, did you see that? This villager and this cow have volunteered to be butchers. Ah, oh, how did this happen? Why am I so bad at dealing with villagers? Honestly, <laughs> I hate villagers. Except for this little guy, hiding behind the cactus. So cute and cranky. Okay, time for some harmless Kidnapping, nothing to see here. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it worked. Now you might notice my first villager escaped. That is to be expected, but I've learnt from my mistakes. Now we are free to destroy and replace this block over and over again until we find raw beef as the first trade or until we realize that raw beef never shows up as a first trade and we'll have to upgrade this villager 
before we can trade raw beef. So we'll settle on raw rabbit because we're in the desert. Here's another trick. You can lure the villagers using seeds. That bed needs to go. Come on, buddy. <gasps> Did you see that? <laughs> wow, I didn't even have to tell that villager where to go. He just went. I am a true professional. Okay. Buddy, you are going to be a leather worker because we make leather here too. Okay, now which blocks can we remove safely? Good. <gasps> They're in love! Wait, are they in love with each other or with me? What's going on? Oh no, oh no, this guy doesn't like me. <gasps> oh, they've been gossiping. Oh dear. Okay. I think the butcher watched me hit another villager earlier by accident. It was an accident. And now he's told his little buddy. Let's keep this between the three of us, okay? Oh, you still have my minecart. Give it back. Oh, what the? Get back in there. No, 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 no. Don't escape. Back here, please. Come on. In you go. Chase the seeds. Oh, he won't step on the rail. That's why. Yes. No. Yes. Aha. I gotcha. It's all good. Ah, uh, that's not good. It's all good. We have more cows out here because, you know, the inside's not noisy enough. Let's clean up and decorate. We just need something in this corner. Need some more jungle wood. I'll take this. Thank you. Nice. So here is where we feed the cows and breed the cows. Here is where we grow the cow feed to feed the cows. Here is where we freeze the cows. As you can see, it only kills the adult cows, not the babies. Brilliant design. And here's where we collect. Oh, that was very cute. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, I swear. Come here. Give me a little bunny. Oh, <laughs> gosh, I'm good. Excuse me. Have you been gossiping? Do you hate me? No, you don't. That's good. mad at me anymore. That's good. Wow. Wow, that's good. Cool. Okay, that's it. We are all done here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Ajax Minecraft for this fabulous design. In the next episode, the village upgrades continue. I hope you'll join me then. Bye for now.